Hey guys, and welcome back to EU4 that's Congo. Use the Congo. Um bongo Congo. Right, we've still got like another four years to wait until we can annex Loango. And we've still got a little while left until we can get ourselves medieval administration and then the one after it until we can get an idea. So we've got a lot of time of doing pretty much feck all. Yep. Oh, we're only at 90 fucking prestige. Wow, our prestige drops. Yeah, we've actually already got a mission. I was going to say, well, it's nothing stopping me from doing that thing and getting that mission again. But yes, yes, there is. Because I've already grabbed a mission, so I'd have to wait five years anyway. So we might as well just wait until we can annex these guys. And we shall annex both of them at the same time. Because... Uh, yep, 1st January 1444, so we need to wait until the 1st January 1454. Well, it's both of them at the same time so we don't get the negative modifier for Annex Navaso. Sorted. Fucking prestige just dropping every month. Drop, 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 drop. No one to fight. Money's rising, which is nice. Touch of inflation, I'm not going to bother about for now. 125. Could get another advisor, but what's the point? It's just going to cost us an uh, inordinate amount of money. I think it's like 800 or something. Luango's opinion has went up. Great. Um. Is it fucking, oh, it's 949 we need. Jeez, you need so much when you're a non Western country. It's ridiculous. The thing is, man, as soon as we can get into here, we can just go blah, 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 and just eat all of that. But it's getting up there that's the issue. Just maintain the diplomat. Against Oyo. But we've got like no CB plus we've got a Regency Council, so it's like <laughs> we can't do anything. A couple of years and this guy should be uh, in on it. Let's maintain you. We'll just recall them and send them out in the new year. Hey! Awesome. Oh. So, what have you been up to? Not a lot. That's what I thought. Just watching some YouTubes. Same. Fuck it, it's getting cold here. Like, apparently we had snow this morning, although I kind of slept in a bit because I was up late last night recording videos for YouTubes. So, I, like, kind of missed the snow. But yes, apparently we're snowing here this morning. It's the, uh, I'm recording these on the 6th of, Jan uh, 6th of January, 6th of December. If I was recording these on the 6th of January and posting them, like, previous... To the current time. Oh nice, it just made it. Um, and I was publishing them previous to what time it was. Then that would be really fucking interesting because then I could like tell everyone what the fucking lottery numbers were and stuff. <laughs> there we are, let's annex both of them. Should be done a couple of month, one month, two month. Huh. Oh, ten month. Just over ten month. Oh, that was Twelve month, a bit right. What else? But we shall annex both of these, and it shall be glorious. We shall be larger and still be able to do nothing, because <laughs> we'll still need exploration. But if we rush exploration, and basically the way I'm thinking about doing it is the exact same way as I've done in the Castile playthrough, just go in exploration and just hammering and hammering and hammering on the new provinces as fast as possible. Can never have too much manpower. Except when you try to get the mission, then you can have too much manpower. But this won't give me the cost of... Yeah. Integrated. Huzzah. They've been incorporated. Go from negative stability. Why would I do that when I can invest in new technology? Just need to try and get this now. What's this give me? Five prestige. Completely worth it. 
So I grab all these guys here and I'll get you to Yeah, protect code now uh, protect trade in every coast, sure. And you are a cog, so I'm just gonna No. No, the cog, there we go. Send you there. And we've got a new air as well. Fantastic. There we go, we've got a nice eight army here. And is there any point? I mean, I could gain our prestige up if I wanted and gain our army tradition, but there's no real point in it. If this guy died, then I would see the point, but nah. Let's uh, grab one of these guys and disband them. Is it? No, it's not. I thought it might have been X in this. I'm trying to remember all my keyboard shortcuts. It's X in Crusader Kings 2 is the keyboard shortcut for disbanding people. But in this, it is not. Ah oh, man, we need to get up and in there and... Wrecking face. Bump. That's the coast of Cameroon and there's another one right there, you can see it. That we would need to be a part of to be able to uh, start fabricating claims there. Uh, is there any other way that we could... Ugh, God knows. Could try and enforce a peace, but... There's an enforce a peace between a target country and one of its enemies. You will join the war on the opposing side if they refuse to accept the peace. So, but I think I need these guys to like me, at least a little bit, so let's try that. Maybe this can be a way that we can uh, get into this war and start smashing people's faces in. I'm not sure, I can't remember exactly what it is you need to enforce peace. There we go, they're at zero. And the war is over. You son of a bitch. Right, you're at war with someone. Prove relations with you. So ditch these guys. Force a peace? No, okay. At least one more positive than negative reasons for acceptance. Why can I not click send? Enforce a white peace between the target country and one of its enemies. We join the war on the opposite side if the target refuses to accept. Hmm. Ah, right, okay. You need to have oil, you need to have oil to have an opinion of at least 100 of you, and it's currently negative. Okay, so if I try and get these guys to have a 100 opinion with me, then I can enforce peace. Right, okay. Or at least one of them to have a 100 opinion. Hmm. Send them a gift and proclaim guarantee and stuff. That way I can jump in a fight. These guys are getting their asses kicked. But I just, I need to, uh, I need to get in on this. Let's, uh, bring him back. Lose national tax, or lose, the, lose national tax. It's not like it's a big deal right now. 10%, it's like, yeah, it's like, fuck all. Oh, we're only getting point 0.1 of a ducat right now? The heck? Maybe it is a big deal. <laughs> uh, right. 46 with these guys. Um, what if I... Claim a guarantee? Uh, I can send them 25 ducats and they'll like me as well. By 25. Although if someone tries to... Hmm, no idea. Don't know how that works. I don't really want to send them a gift. 
Guaranteed is plus 10, so that knocks out different religions, so we can get them up to plus 100. Has arrived in Taba. Right. You need to be able to declare war on the target. Alright, we can't declare war because we've proclaimed them as guaranteed, but we can go to these people and do enforce peace. Join the side of Nupi. But Nupi need to have a hundred opinion of us. There we go. Right, so that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to go to war with Oyo. Because they're not going to say yes. Fear of Congo, plus three. That's why we're losing money. It just dawned on me. Because we got these guys. And we are now... How many over a full summit? Oh, we're three over a full summit. Okay, we're going to have to ditch... Piss off. We're going to have to ditch these guys. There we go. That's why we were losing money. Ninety nine, so one more. There we go. So enforce peace with Nupi. Could not enforce a peace on a defender in a war and Nupi was the aggressor. Ah shit. Okay. Shit, I really gone done fucked up there. Proclaim a guarantee on them. Stop relations improvement. Revoke that guarantee. Lose some prestige. And let's start improving relations. Really should have checked that, that was my bad. Oh, no mind. Oh, you'll just uh, finish the war. Fuck a duck. Everyone in this place has just finished a war. God damn it. Oh well, it was worth a try. Right, what we'll do is we will reduce our army maintenance again. Because we're not about to go to war. And we'll try and gain some more ducats. Whilst we're gaining some of our other points. I'm going to save all of my uh, diplo power for now. Air has the peasants war. God. May as well just start getting all of these guys like improving their relations. Because that way we can, uh, in case a war breaks out, we can jump on it. That'd be good. Oh god, I wish we could just like get across here. Shouldn't take long. As soon as we get that idea up and running, we should be laughing. Like I says, I don't want to take that. How much can I store? Where does it tells me again? Ah, there it is. There, fifteen ninety eight. So we can store a fuck ton. Cause we're getting eight, even with our <laughs> admin power being our focus. Tax income loss and annex subject. Oh, you've annexed and integrated a few subjects, so it's harder to integrate another right now. Ah. I didn't realise that we got lower Diplo rep because of that. I don't know if that's a new thing. Or maybe it's just something that was a complete oversight on my behalf. Which does happen. <laughs> Completely agree that that is a thing that occurs. Recover from negative stability. Uh, I mean, I could get my prestige up. Don't really need it. Has arrived in Ndongo. If I actually set you as a rival, oh no, oh yes, obviously because we need to be side by side. We need to actually be a neighbour. Forgot about that. God, we got a decent amount of uh, negative diplo rep. That's not great. Sixteen percent improved relations because of our prestige and because we're at peace. Fair enough. Growth of cities attracts serfs. We have to accept this. Lose one base tax in Mobila. And they gain local autonomy. Okay, that's new. Um, I would much rather the serfs belong in their turf. 
because I don't want them gaining local autonomy, that just seems ridiculous. God, why would I want that? Oh, these guys have already got a load of local autonomy. They're all getting a bit of unrest because I dropped that, but... That's fine, I'm not bothered about that too much. There we go, we shall raise that, we shall put you on Autonomous Rebel Suppression, but sit you here. And then stick you on Autonomous Rebel Suppression. There we go. The Autonomy Decreased gets it, puts up by 10, but that's only for a little bit. Okay, he's went to Oyo and he's done his job. They like us, they are beginning to like us. We shall send them over here. There we go. Pull them back from Benin and send them here. God. Not an awful lot to do right now. Not an awful lot to do. Provincial unrest. That's not for long. What is it, like five years, something like that? Tony was decreased, so it can't be changed. And that, as far as I tell, local autonomy gives us, yes, less trade power and tax, etc. So we're wanting to get that down. Current estimate changes 0 0.1 each month due to the fact that we're at peace. Okay, makes sense. I take it, is that because, is that just the places that I annexed? No, it's not. Because this place, I don't know. It is places that I annexed, but Anziku. Actually, I don't think that I annexed that. No, I didn't. Yeah, Anziku wasn't an annexed place. No, there was that. Huh, weird. Whatever. Whatever. Why would I give them local autonomy when the unrest's already at zero? Oh, our philosopher died. Yeah, we can still get that, but as I says, I don't want it. We national tax or Ooh, national unrest down by three, that's nice. Let's uh let's grab him. Alright, so what have we got here? Anything decent? No. Anything decent? No. Right. Hey, national decisions available. Intre introduce the vision quest. That makes stability cost more. Oh, thank you. Speed of succession. We sh can't build provincial improvements because we haven't unlocked any. Well, what did the last admin tech get me? Probably just production efficiency and stuff. Was it? Yeah, 10%. And different types of monarchies. So it wasn't massive. Anyway, we're going to call the episode there. So as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve. You've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.